Hello, good morning friends. Today I am going to take the class on dividing a pie uh, or leaving it on table. So this is actually the title which has been given in the book as well as in the syllabus which you have. My name is Sirtik. I am assistant professor in the Department of Economics, University of Kerala. So uh, the lecture is largely on the two party. Uh, one shot game so we have already seen different types of game so this is in continuation with that and the original game in fact one of the most common tool to study social preference is a two person one shot game known as the ultimatum game this is what is called the ultimatum game it has been used around the world with experimental subjects including students farmers warehouse workers and hunter gatherers etc by observing their choices, we investigate the subject preferences and motive, such as pure self-interest, altruism, inequality, aversion, or reciprocity. So the subject of the experiments are invited to play a game in which they will win some money. How much they win will depend on how they and the author in the game play. So real money is at stake in experimental games like this because uh, we could not be sure the subject's answer uh, to a hypothetical question whether we, that would reflect their action in real life or not. So this is actually the basis of the game and the rules of the games are explained to the players and they are randomly matched in pairs. Then one player is randomly assigned as a proposer and the other as the respondent. So the uh, subject do not know each other but they know the other player was recruited to the experiment in the way you are. So subjects remain therefore anonymous. So the proposer is provisionally given an amount of money, let's say 1000 rupees by the experiment and instru instructed to offer the respondent part. Any split is permitted including keeping it all or giving it all away. So we will call this amount the pi, which is called the total. So because the point of the experiment is how it will be divided up. So now there is a pi with the proposal. So the split uh, takes the form of x for me, y for you. So where x plus y is going to be the pi or uh, the thousand rupees. The responder knows that the proposal has thousand to split. After observing the offer, the responder accepts or rejects it. If the offer is rejected, both individuals get nothing. If it is accepted, the split is implemented, the proposal gets X and the responder Y. For example, if the proposer offer 35 and the respond um, uh, 350 and the responder accepts, the proposal gets 650 and the responder gets uh, 350 if the responder re reject the offer. They both get nothing. So this is actually the kind of situation which people end up. So this is called the take it or leave it offer. It is the ultimatum in the game's name. The responder is faced with a choice accept $35, uh, the 35,000, uh, the 350 rupees or get nothing. Okay, this is a game about sharing the economic rents that arises in an interaction. An entrepreneur wanting to introduce a new technology could share. The rent, the higher profit than is available from the current technology. With the employees, if they cooperate in its introduction here, the rent arises because the experimenter provisionally gives proper the pie to divide. So if the negotiation succeeds, that is the respondent accepts, both players receive a rent a slice of the pie. So their next best alternative is to get nothing. The pie is actually thrown away. So this is actually the way in which this game is being understood. So in the example above, the responder accepts the proposer's offer. Then, uh, then the proposer gets a rent of uh, 650 and the responder gets a 350. For the responder, uh, there is a cost uh, to saying no. He loses the rent that he would have received. Therefore, uh, $350 is the opportunity cost of rejecting the offer. So we start by thinking about the simplified case of the ultimatum game represented 
in the game tree normally in the book uh, the diagram called game tree the proposer's choices are either the fair offer or off and equal split or the unfair offer of 20 keeping 80 for herself then the respondent has the choice to accept or reject the payoff are shown so it is clear that one proposer then one responder so the proposer offers either 50 50 or 80 20 proposition uh, rate that is actually reciprocated by the responder if the responder accept then they get a 50 50 and the proposer get 50 so 50 50 is the chance if reject both gets nothing all right so the same is the case with the second case uh, that is if the proposer's uh, offer is 80 20 if responder accepts then uh, responder get 20 and uh, the proposer keeps 80 if they reject both gets nothing so this is a game tree in that sense it's very interesting so the game tree is a useful way to represent social interaction because it clarifies who gets what when they choose and what are the results we see that in the ultimate game one player that is the proposer chooses her strategy first followed by the responder it is called a sequential game that is one followed by uh, from uh, one followed up from the other's strategy okay and uh, previously we looked in only simultaneous games so the earlier games called simultaneous game and this is what is called a sequential game in which a players choose strategy simultaneously so what the proposer will get depend on what the responder does so the proposer has to think about the likely response response of the other player and that is why this is called a strategic interaction if you are propose if you are the proposer you can't try out a low offer to see what happens you have only one chance to make an offer and put uh, yourself in the place of the responder in the same game so uh, would you accept now 50 50 or you will keep 80 20 this is the question so now uh, uh, which uh, uh, which strategy you apply is depends on your own interest suppose that you are the proposer so what split would you offer to responder would your answer depends on whether the person was a friend a stranger a person in need or a competitor a responder who thinks that the proposer offer has violated a social norm of fairness or that the offer is insulting or insultingly low for some other reason might be willing to sacrifice the payoff to punish the proposer now return to the general case in which the proposer can offer any amount between uh, 0 rupees to 1000 if you were the responder what is the minimum amount uh, you would be willing to accept if you were a proposer what would you offer so these are the questions which we need to basically look into the games and the attitude which will reveal the attitude of the people towards the game so if, if you uh, would uh, if you like to look into it then you can uh, make an exercise which is already given uh, through the Einstein exercise which is exercise 4 7 that follows it you will see how to work out the minimum acceptable offer taking account of the social norm and the individual zone attitude to reciprocity so the minimum acceptable offer is the offer at which the pleasure of getting the money is equal to the satisfaction the person would get from refusing the offer and getting no money but being able to punish the proposal for violating the social norm is 50 50. if you are the responder you and your minimum acceptable offer is 35 or the 350 as we have said then if the proposer offers you at uh, 360 rupees you might not like the proposer much but you would still accept the offer instead of punishing the proposer by rejecting the offer if you reject the offer you would go home with satisfaction worth uh, 350 and no money when you would have had you know 360 uh, rupees in cash so this is the kind of understanding so when will offer an ultimatum game accepted is also given in the book as an exercise but still i would like to go for a little bit on it and there is a fairness norm that is i have already said 50 50 
and when the proposal pays um, 50% or above that is your Y is going to be greater than or equal to 50% or what you say 500 rupees. The responder feels positively uh, disposed towards the proposer and would naturally accept the proposal as rejecting it would hurt both herself as well as the proposer whom she appreciates because they confirms to or were even more generous than the social norm. But if the offer is below 50%, that is uh, below 500, then she feels that the 50-50 norm is not being respected and she may want to punish the proposer for this breach. If she does reject the offer, this will come at a cost to her because rejection means that both receives nothing. Suppose the responder's anger at the breach of the social norm depends on the size of the breach. The proposer offers nothing. She will be furious, but she is more likely to be puzzled than angry at an offer of, uh, say, for 499 rupees rather than 500 offer she might have expected because on the social norm. So how much satisfaction she would derive from punishing a proposer's low offer depending on two things. A her private reciprocity motive which is we call R and the gains from the accepting the offer which we call Y. R is a number that uh, indicates the strength of the respondents private responders private reciprocity move by if r is a large number then she cares a lot about whether the proposer is acting generously and fairly or not but if r is zero she does not care about the proposer's motive at all so the satisfaction of rejecting a low offer is r which is 50 minus y the gain from accepting the offer is the, is the offer itself, that is, or why. The decision uh, to accept or reject just depends on which of these two quantities is larger. We can write this as reject an offer if y is less than r times uh, 50 minus y. This equation says that she will reject an offer of less than uh, $500 according to how much lower than uh, $500. The offer is as uh, measured by 50 minus Y, which is multiplied by her private attitude to reciprocity, which is equal to R. To calculate her minimum acceptable offer, we can uh, rearrange this rejection equation as y is less than or equal to, uh, sorry, y is less than r times 50 minus y, and y is less than 50 r minus r y. y plus r y is less than or less than 50 r and y times 1 plus r is less than 50 r, which is y is less than 50r by 1 plus r. So r is equal to 1 means that the responder plays equals importance to reciprocity and the social norm when r is equal to 1. Then y is less than 20 and she will reject any offer less than 25% uh, that is 250 rupees. The cutoff point of uh, 250 is whether where her two motivation of monetary gain and punishing the proposal exactly balance out. If she rejects the offer of 250, she loses 250 but receives 250 worth the satisfaction from punishing the proposal. So her total payoff is zero. So the move or the, the more responder care about reciprocity, the higher the proposal's offer have to be. For example, if R is equal to 0 0.5, the responder will reject offer below six, um, uh, 160 rupees. Uh, exactly to speak, 166.7 rupees. That is Y is equal to 16 point, uh, Y is equal to 166.7. But if R is equal to 2, then the responder will reject any offer less than 
um, 333.3 rupees. All right. So this is how the calculation goes. So with this, we can understand that you know what is the possibility of dividing a pi, or take this is actually called the take it or leave it uh, game or one shot game. Uh, in the Malayalati Lake, one of the simple and ill game, Pradana item, and the other game will learn. Number the Nathan from the cooperative, non cooperative game and the Sobha Polatane. Either are a movie in the Distanathil games in the Dither and the Yam on the simultaneous game, but a sequential game. About simultaneous game in the Pratayadan or in the Nathan and the decision of Urimichari. Sequential game in the Pratayadan or Nale, Arangilam are the first movie, Adina Tudor Nala, and even the Vitarika at the other movie. So, either the Engine and a game functions in the Addisan Tilana, e sequential or simultaneous game in a Kurche, Namukman's lack and getting e one shot game in the Pratayada, one of the Pradana, or the Dandalan or a game item, one shot on us, or a professional game. Game, game, game. Anganulu game to the Harna Paranali. If you have a good one, you can share it. If you have an offer, you can get a offer. If you have a cash offer, you can accept it. If you have a reject, you can get a reject. If you have a reject, you can get a reject. So, this is what is the condition of the game. So, that is the same thing. We have an example of the English. We have to offer you, reject you, and reject you. We have to offer 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 you. We have Offer he or she is having two options. Either offer a fair game or an unfair game. If you have a 50 fair game, you can get a cash. 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 You Accept it, uh, respond to the proposal, reject it, and work the zero. And now the case is that the offer is 80 and an idiot. But unfair. Now the proposal is the same as the idiot offer. The respondent is the same as the idiot. Accept it, reject it. Accept it, and the proposal is the same as the respondent. Reject it, and the other one is the same as the idiot. This is a game. Now the idiot is Proposal, offer, remain, uh, respond, and accept, reject, accept, reject, and the strategy. So, this is the same thing. We have to check the figure of 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 the figure if you have a punishment, you can't punish it. If you have a punishment, you can't punish but if you have a good game, you better than zero. You can one shot game. If you have a rejection, you can get a rejection. But if you have a exercise, you can get a minimum acceptable offer. You can get a satisfaction. But if you have a fair idea, you can divide it. If you have a positive idea, you can reject it. 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 You 
യഥാർത്ഥത്തിൽ അത് അൺഫെയർ ആയതുകൊണ്ടുള്ള റിജക്ഷൻ ആണ് പണിഷ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അങ്ങനെ ഒരാൾ വേണ്ടെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഈ കിട്ടിയ ആൾക്ക് ഈ ഈ പൈ ഇല്ലാതാകും എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു അടിസ്ഥാനമെങ്കിൽ സ്വാഭാവികമായിട്ടും യു വുഡ് ട്രൈ ടു ബി ദി ദി എന്താണ് ഈ പ്രപ്പോസർ ഓൾവേസ് അവരെന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഈ റെസ്പോണ്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നവർക്ക് പരമാവധി കൊടുക്കാൻ ശ്രമിക്കും പക്ഷെ പരമാവധി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എത്രയാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫിഫ്റ്റിയാണ് അതിൻ്റെ മാക്സിമം ഫിഫ്റ്റിയും മിനിമം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എത്ര ആകാം എന്നുള്ളൊരു ചോദ്യമുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ മിനിമം ഒരു കാൽക്കുലേഷൻ നമ്മൾ കാണുന്നു അതാണ് നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ എക്സാമ്പിൾ നമ്മൾ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ എക്സാമ്പിളായിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞത് വൈ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ലെസ് ദാൻ ആർ ടൈംസ് സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് മൈനസ് വൈ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമുക്കൊരു വേണമെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫിഫ്റ്റി മൈനസ് വൈ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു എക്സാമ്പിൾ നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞു അങ്ങനെ നമ്മൾ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് കിട്ടിയാൽ ഏറ്റവും മിനിമം വാല്യൂ ഒരു പതിനാറ് അതായത് നൂറ് രൂപയ്ക്ക് ഒരു പതിനാറ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ആറ് ഏഴ് രൂപ വരെയാണ് അവരുടെ ഇനി റെസിപ്രോക്കൽ ആക്സെപ്റ്റൻസ് വാല്യൂ സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് ആയാൽ അവർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അത് സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് റെസിപ്രോക്കൽ വാല്യൂ രണ്ടായി ഉയരുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അവർക്ക് മുപ്പത്തി മൂന്ന് രൂപയ്ക്ക് താഴെ വന്നാൽ അവർ മുപ്പത്തി മൂന്ന് രൂപയ്ക്ക് താഴെ വന്നാൽ അവർ റിജക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യും എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അപ്പം അങ്ങനെ നമുക്ക് ഓരോ വാല്യൂ കൊടുത്ത് വൺ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എത്രയാണ് ഇരുപത്തഞ്ച് അപ്പം ആ തരത്തിലൊക്കെ ഉള്ള മനസ്സിലാക്കലുകൾ നമുക്ക് ഇതിൽ നടത്താൻ പറ്റും അപ്പോൾ വാല്യൂ ആർ വൺ ആണെങ്കിൽ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് റുപ്പീസിന് താഴെയാണ് ഓഫർ ചെയ്യുന്നതെങ്കിൽ ദി റെസ്പോണ്ടർ ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു റിജക്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ഇത്തരത്തിലാണ് നമുക്ക് ഇതിനെ മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ കഴിയുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഓരോ വാല്യൂ മാറ്റുന്നത് അനുസരിച്ചിട്ട് നിങ്ങളുടെ റിജക്ഷൻ റേറ്റ് കൂടുകയും കുറയുകയൊക്കെ ചെയ്യും അത് അതിൻ്റെ പശ്ചാത്തലത്തിലാണ് ബേസിക്കലി എന്ത് സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് ഈ ഗെയിം അക്സെപ്റ്റബിൾ ആണോ റിജക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നതാണോ എന്ന് നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാം ഇത്തരത്തിൽ നമുക്ക് ഒരു പൈൻ്റെ ഡിവിഷനും പൈ എത്തരത്തിലാണ് ഫെയറായി ആളുകൾ എടുക്കുന്നത് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് റിജക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു മുതലായ ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങൾക്ക് ഉത്തരം പറയാൻ ഈ ഈ ഗെയിം മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നതിലൂടെ നമുക്ക് സഹായിക്കും ഇത് ഒരു ഒരു തരത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മുടെ മനുഷ്യൻ്റെ നമ്മൾ ദൈനംദിന ജീവിതത്തിൽ കൃത്യമായിട്ടും നമ്മൾ കടന്നു വരുന്ന ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങളെ ഇതിൻ്റെ പശ്ചാത്തലത്തിൽ നമുക്ക് വിശദീകരിക്കാൻ കഴിയും എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അപ്പോൾ അതാണ് ഈ പൈ ഈ ലെക്ചർ കൊണ്ട് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് ഇത്രയും നേരം എന്നെ കേട്ടിരുന്ന എല്ലാവർക്കും നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം അപ്പോൾ അടുത്ത ലെക്ചറിൽ നമുക്ക് കാണാം താങ്ക് യു വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ